Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a good day. This is Scripps from AFK Gaming bringing you the daily in the FPS world. Today's board is covered with Counter-Strike news and we've got you the most accurate way to convert your CSGO sensitivity to Valorant. And then we have an interesting addition to Inferno and last but not the least a rare visibility bug that reveals opponents through walls. <gasps> Sowa is here in CSGO? Without further ado, let's get started. Now let's talk about a very intriguing addition to the world of Counter-Strike. The 10th June patch for CSGO added many things, most notably the reverse doors on the B-side on Dust2 and player contrast. However, the most interesting update in the patch was left out of the notes. Remember the tic-tac-toe board in Inferno's despawn? Yep, it's completely functional now. While one could play it in the past with guns and sprays and whatnot, the game now recognizes when two players are playing and automatically assigns them a side. You shoot at the tiles and either an X or an O appears. And after the game finishes, the board resets post a short timer. Valve's janitor is surely working overtime with things on that matter. Now let's talk about bugs. CSGO's big update three days ago introduced a boost player contrast graphic setting that isn't really working as intended. As pointed out by a Reddit user Tim Shumi, enabling the setting allows players to see opponents behind the walls and other solid structures. Just like revealing area. Found them. Check out this clip where a slight silhouette of the enemy player can be spotted through the reactor model on Nuke. Yes, it's not particularly prominent and at times it won't even be noticed. But remember, this is a game of Counter-Strike. A tactical shooter where even the slightest of advantage can be exploited by your enemies. Any player with sharp eyes and a good game sense will be able to take advantage of this bug. Now, there's still a debate going on as to why this bug exists in the first place, but we don't have any clarity on that so far. Tim Shumi also said that this bug isn't very easily reproducible, so you have nothing to worry about. Our last news of the day comes thanks to the Redditor Bink are doing the math. They have calculated the ideal way for you to convert your CSGO sensitivity to Valorant. Before this, most of the people who are playing Valorant have been dividing their CSGO sensitivities by 3.181818 and then they think that it gives them the right sensitivity. However, Binka points out rightly that this doesn't actually give you the correct aim. Why? Because there's a difference in the field of view of the games of 3.26 degrees. Wow, they've really done the math. Now don't worry, we'll break it down for you. 16x9 users in CSGO going to Valorant and playing in 16x9 native need to divide by 3.3735. If you use 4x3 stretched in CSGO and you're moving to 16x9 in Valorant, you should try dividing your CSGO sensitivity by 2.5316. Now finally, after this man has done the math and you have applied it, it's time to shoot down that Reyna with the right sensitivity in your hands. This was our lowdown of everything that happened in the CS universe today. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you like our content. Let us know in the comments whether you're looking forward to the new CS feel in Valorant, playing Tic-Tac-Toe or Inferno, or hitting some crazy shots with the new bug. I'm gonna go AFK for now, we'll see you in the next video.